know me, my name is Daniel Fisher. I'm a, I'm an independent developer. I've been on brand here at Sequimbal X. I decided to do something new this time, a little different. Normally, I run I, I run on the jams by myself, and uh, this this uh, this time I decided to reach out. I've got a uh, Joel from MGV here. He, he gave a hand, Hello. and then uh, there's a couple other guy, uh, other people that are on the team. They're not present, but uh, they came from some of the studios that I've contracted with. So we took uh, a bunch of independent developers to see what we could come up with within 48 hours. Um, it's actually pretty nice. Uh, before I show the game, I wanted to discuss some of the, the issues. You know, we'll go over that, and then we'll go into the game. Uh, one of the main things, uh, you know, team mechanics wasn't really a problem. Uh, like I said, you know, we're all pretty much well versed within, you know, dealing with teams, dealing with the online talking, file sharing, all that good, good nonsense. So. Uh, that wasn't an issue. When it came to communication, Discord kept crashing out on us real, real bad. It was, uh, it was not nice. If it wasn't mine that was crashing out, it was somebody else's. So we had to push to Skype, so that, that set us back about a good 20 minutes, but it still set us back a little bit. Uh, the next issue we came across, very big issue, and I'm sure some of y'all probably came across it in here too, repository. Oh my God. All right, at first it was okay, but then once we started getting more uh, advanced within the project, Source Tree started trying to act all crazy, and we, I didn't want to deal with the repo all weekend, so just kept the master file and had Google Drive dropping packages left and right. Uh, needless to say, we all probably got to clean our computers off because it was about 100 yeah. packages. I ran out of memory on mine, actually. I was down to 100 megabytes, so yeah, hard to so, it was fun. Hey, it was fun. It was fun. So, uh, with the theme, we decided to take the theme uh, repair, and uh, we got to thinking about it, and we just we, we figured everybody would probably start trying to go with puzzle games because repair you think fixing something, fixing something is usually a puzzle, and then we figured that'd be you know nine times out of ten what everybody's going to go because that'd be the easiest route. We weren't going to go that route, so. Uh, the, the, the whole premise behind this game, which you'll see it a little bit, we didn't get to complete it. Uh, we we're actually thinking about pushing forward and completing the game to its full potential. Uh, we're going to take a couple days to rest first. Uh, but we took, uh, you're a young lady, you have had an accident, um, you wake up in a coma. Don't ask me how you wake up in a coma, but you do. Um, and you're in a nightmare state. The whole goal is to go through this decrepit hospital, find your memories, go to that point of your psyche, defeat the demons that are battling on your psyche, and then repair your brain so that you can wake up, hopefully, from the coma. All right, so um, that's how the, the theme plays into the game. Now, um, there was originally supposed to be two different memories within the game that you were going to go to and then go fight the demons. Uh, this morning we kind of ran out of time, so there's only one section. Um, but let's go ahead. And, let's go ahead and see. It. Um, there is audio. There is no sound effects. We didn't have time for sound effects, but there is some audio. All right. So as you can see, there is everybody that worked on it. Uh, actually, uh, old uh, George. I'm sure some of you guys can look at that font and tell me where that came from. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's no, that is Halo 3. <laughs> <laughs> it's either Halo or um, Halo. 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 Yeah, it's it's actually, it's definitely Halo. Um, the name of the game to go with the, the old uh, repairing human psyche is going to be your lost mindscape. That is the name of the game. Uh, but here's an interesting fact. The old Jörg Helfrich on here is in Germany, and he assisted with making this game. That gave us a little bit of a challenge considering he's seven hours ahead of us in time. So, uh, but it, it worked out for the best. Uh, the control scheme is, is pretty simple. It's your basic third person, arrows, vertical, axis, horizontal axis, all that moves you around, left, right, front, and back. Your mouse rotates, and then your left click shoots your bow and arrow when you're in that damaged part of the site. You will not have, you don't have any weapons when you're not in the damaged part. Um, and then their MVP will turn off your mouse cursor. That's more for developer purposes because when you're testing it, 
go to move the damn mouse and the cursor comes off the screen, you lose all control of the character. So, uh, all right, well, let's get into it. All right, so um, obviously we didn't get the camera clipping out of there yet, but um, this is the hospital for the most part. Yeah. Now, um, here is this damaged psyche, all right? So I touched the memory. Uh, as you can see, there are characters down there on the ground. That is actually the second portion that we didn't get to. So. Um, but as far as everything else, um, where they go? you've got some enemies up here. Uh, I missed him. <laughs> Alright, I'm not as good at this as some of the other people on the team, but I can see. Alright, but anyway, so, and then of course you've got your, uh, your boss right here that's going to come in, attack, try to kill you, all that good nonsense. Um, but for the most part, once you get done, it's supposed to pan out starting over here in this little area right here. We ran into an issue with the nav mesh on those bridges. Uh, the nav mesh would not bake on those bridges at all for some reason. Mesh colliders, everything on there will not bake on there. We could not figure out why. That's something we're gonna have to push forward if we decide to, to, to go further. Um, but uh, for, this is just the terrain and a bunch of different islands and stuff of that nature. Uh, the UI is not plugged in yet. Uh, the guy who made that, uh, the boy, he, he did a really good job in my opinion as far as uh, up here on the left that's supposed to show your mana, your stamina, and your health. Down here on the bottom right hand corner is supposed to be your magical spells and your arrows, which if we go further, all this will be linked in and it'll be further into the whole game. Uh, but yeah, uh, the prim like I said, once you defeat the enemies here, the demons that are tearing your mind up, you'll be automatically transported back to the hospital in search of another uh, memory, and you're gonna continue this pattern until your brain is repaired. So that's, um, that's pretty much it for that. Are there any questions? Any questions? Go ahead. Yeah, another question, but just like, it's pretty impressive what you guys did. I mean, you got like characters and like mm -hmm. texture. I mean, that, that, that looks like a lot of work. It, it, it was a lot of work. Um, the way, way we did it was everybody on the team had certain strengths and certain weaknesses. Yeah. Uh, for instance, my, my strength is characters and artificial intelligence. So, uh, obviously, I was going to be the first choice for the characters and, the, and animations. Now, we had, mod, we had a modeler. We had a concept artist, first choice for the environment. Right. And then so forth and so on. And then everybody really just towards the end started pitching in. So um, it, that is actually a collaboration of everybody that was on the team, all six of us. Very good one. Very good. Yeah. The scope. The scope was the hardest part of making this particular game because we we had a very good idea and concept to start off with, and we were pushing forward with it. But every 20 minutes, somebody else, oh, well, we have to do this and change that, and do this and change that. And well, I'm, I'm once we get us, you know, I've, I've done quite a few of these, and I already know that's not going to work. So I had to, you know, we had to just buckle down and say, okay, we're going to use this idea, we'll use it, and we're going to push forward. And then we just kept on. Uh, the, the, bare, the, the basic fundamentals and foundations in there is not broken. There might be visuals that are broken and stuff like that, but for the most part, uh, we, that's, that's it. <laughs> Anybody else? Nobody? All right. Thank you, guys. Very cool. Yeah. Lost Mindscape.